Right. Well, here we are. <clears throat> so, some of you may have been wondering why I've not posted anything for, <laughs> for several weeks whilst undergoing the rebuild of the uh, Norton Commando engine. And the, uh, the answer is that I've been having massive problems with the tension of the cam chain. So basically, I put uh, I put the crankcases back together, uh, put the crankshaft pinion back on, put the uh, cam the sprockets back on with the cam chain, put the tensioner back on. <coughs> Excuse me, got a bit of a bit of a nicky thing, something, and um, I've got a massively uneven cam chain tension. I tensioned everything up, and I thought I was great, and then I just turned it over, you know, to check. And it was really, really loose in one point and really tight in another. Uh, to excess. I couldn't live with it. So the question was, what's the problem? Well, uh, I, 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 I couldn't work out what the problem was. I mean, the only obvious thing would be that the camshaft is running eccentrically. But, you know, it seems to be fine. It'd just be the end that's bent. If the whole thing was bent, then obviously it'd be tight to turn. But it's smooth and it's fine. So what I've done, I, and, and the next, uh, in the rest of this video, basically I'll show you what I've done. So I've, first of all, I changed, put a new cam chain on. No, didn't make any difference. So then I've bought a new uh camshaft on Taylor Exchange, luckily, um, to 500 quid, and, and put that in, because uh, I checked as far as I could using my dial gauges to see if that was running eccentric, and it suggested it was. Um, so, put the new camshaft in, uh, no, it didn't make any difference. So, then I put a new camshaft sprocket on, in case that was like Maybe it was drilled like off center or something. No, that didn't make any difference. So then I put a new uh, intermediate sprocket on. No, that didn't make any difference. So then I put on a, a new uh, intermediate shaft. Now, the reason I didn't change the shaft to begin with is because the thing was running eccentrically. Oh dear, I'm going to sneeze a thing. Uh oh, excuse me. Uh oh, is it, is it coming or what? No, oh, blimey. me. Oh, here it comes. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Damn, got the lurk. Just starting. Anyway, yeah, the thing was, it was running eccentrically, so the chain was tight in one place and loose in another. Now, if that had been bent, which which can happen quite easily, if it was bent, then because the actual spindle isn't moving, it won't run eccentrically. It might make the whole thing tight or the whole thing loose, but the only thing that would run eccentrically would be the actual camshaft. Yeah. Anyway, I've replaced that now. So I've had to take all the cases apart several times to put the change the camshaft over and this, that and the other. And what I've ended up with, I've ended up putting the original camshaft back in, the original sprockets, the new cam chain, the old one, and obviously I've replaced the intermediate spindle. And all that work is coming up in the rest of this video but that that seems to uh, uh sorted the problem out to you know to within uh you know uh to to within um uh, tolerance you know it's still not uh whoops get my finger out of the way I'm trying to do two things at once you know it's still not fantastic oh God. Mm. yeah it's a bit still a bit oops i'm trying to get my fingers out of the way but I think we're now within tolerance. So there's still, you know, tight spot and loose spots. But before, the difference in, in tension was, was way, just way too much. Uh, now I think we're within tension, uh, within um, sort of play, within tolerance. That's the word I'm looking for. So it should be okay. Um, why there is still a variation on such a short chain, I don't know. But I've put... A new camshaft in it's made no difference uh the bushes if the bushes are worn on the camshaft then again it might pull the the the, the um the camshaft over but it wouldn't be eccentric 
you know, I wouldn't be adjusting, you know, having to tighten a, a, a low spot. So, uh, you know, I've been scratching my head with it. And that's why I'm not posted because I spent, you know, I've had to take everything apart. And then I've had to order parts and wait for it. And that hasn't worked. And then I order another part that hasn't worked and so on. Anyway, so I think I've now sorted it so that it's within tolerance. It's still not brilliant, but it's within tolerance. So I will now, next video, I'll actually show the rebuilding of all the timing case um the rest of this video will be going through all the work i did one at a time the reasoning behind why I, and all the measurements i took and this that and the other so apologies but i needed to get that right you know i couldn't carry on building the engine without that being right because obviously it's a very basic central part of the engine and unless that's right then you know uh, especially if it was the camshaft that was a problem because you know you've got to take the whole engine apart to replace the camshaft uh and and so it's been several weeks uh you know with christmas and new year in the way and of course i couldn't order parts because places were closed i've been away etc etc anyway i'll um you know i'll i'm happy that we're that, that we've got within tolerance on that chain tension and now i can put it back together hurrah okay coming to uh fit in the cam chain uh, I've come across a problem and so before I go through fitting it um, I know it's a bit sort of backwards but um, I'm going to replace the cam chain this is the original which I wasn't going to replace um, but I am going to replace the cam chain now because I've got very uneven uh, tension on uh on the cam chain now um i'm not sure that uh the cam chain putting a new cam chain on will solve the problem but i'm hoping it does and when i get the new cam chain then i'll go through the whole process of fitting the cam chain and the timing the uh, timing the valves and so on um but i'm going to do that i'm going to you know when we get the new cam chain so at the moment this is the original cam chain which i put on which i thought was okay and there you just got a little bit of play there which i think is just about the right amount of play so then i'm going to uh rotate the engine a bit uh, uh, so you can see already i've got uh, a considerable increase in play Okie doke, so been having this problem of the cam chain running uh, tight and uh, running erratically so very loose in one position and very tight in another and uh, I think when I, so I've tried I've tried fitting a new cam chain replace the old cam chain just to be before I did anything else really um, and of course that didn't make any differences I didn't really think it would but before I did anything else I thought we'd try that um so what i've done now is i've taken the old camshaft out and that's at the engineers what i did was i i checked the true as far as i could with a with a dial gauge and it did seem to be running eccentrically the the camshaft the old camshaft um but you know i i, I don't think it's running eccentrically in the crankcases so it could only be like the end part that would be bent in some way i i don't know i don't know anyway so that's off uh being looked at at the moment and i've now ordered a new expensive camshaft uh, and i'm just going to put that in i'm going to put it in and and hope that that cures the uh the running um, the, the 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 chain tension problem i've also ordered a new sprocket because of course it's possible that the old sprocket which is also at the engine is being checked or um that that might have been drilled you know perhaps not not quite 
center on and that so that could be causing the eccentric running uh, of the chain uh anyway so i'm going to put the new uh camshaft in yeah 500 quid 500 quid for a new camshaft now you've got to be careful obviously with camshafts because there have been so many bad ones over the years even even genuine ones from the norton factory well, of course they probably weren't made by norton factory they'll, they'll be made by a supplier somewhere i assume um but they, they there have been lots of problems with these camshafts not being right over the years even even quite recently um and they've worn really fast and then of course the problem with the camshaft is if it goes then it's a complete and utter engine rebuild you know right down to down to splitting the crankcases you know to to replace the camshaft so you know which is not not a small job you know taking all the time and i've taken all the primary i've taken the engine out and all that so and all the head and barrels and, and that's the problem so you don't want a bad camshaft now this is come from andover norton this one and they they assure me that they're absolutely fine now that they've been checked and they've all been they've all got the proper hardening because these obviously have to be really the actual lobes the cam lobes have to be very very hard otherwise they just wear very quickly but you do have to be careful with replacing camshafts so that comes back to the point where i always say you know well people say well surely you'll replace the bearings as a matter of course well not necessarily because there are bad ones out there you know there are bad camshafts and so on so you always want to be a little bit circumspect when doing these things but our old camshaft it would appear is running eccentrically and over norton have very kindly said that if if i put this in and um, as long as i don't use it and i don't damage it in any way that i i should be able to return it um you know if it is if it doesn't make any difference then then it must be the bushes or something like that's the problem and not the actual camshaft itself of course it's difficult to check the true on the camshaft and that's why i've taken it to a machinist and they've got their lathe and stuff and they're gonna this is the old one they're gonna check it but you know i, I don't know but anyway we're going to put this in i'll loosely fit the chain and hopefully it will be an even even tension all the way around but we'll see okay here we go okay well i've just fitted the new camshaft and i've loosely fitted the uh new cam chain and with the new sprocket and that on <clears throat> and of course um it's exactly the same i've got very uneven tension on the cam chain right so i've taken the uh crankshaft apart crank cases apart <clears throat> uh, again and uh took out the old um uh intermediate shaft um and you do that by just having the case the other way around and knocking it knocking it through heat i heated the case up um and uh knocked it uh not not the old shaft out where's the old shaft it's around here there it is it's the old shaft intermediate uh sprocket shaft um and then um just heat it up again and knock the new one in um and what it is it, there's a circlet uh in the can this will this photo there we go there's a circlet there and you, you just knock it through until it hits the circlet and that's uh, how far it goes in and um, there is a hole an oil way in the in, in the shaft and uh, and that goes i believe at the bottom because the shaft is hollow so you get oil in the shaft and then it runs out of that hole to actually lubricate uh, the sprocket and so to that end on the uh, on the timing case that's the oil hole there so oils sort of flung around by the um, various things going around in the chain case and it goes down that hole and then into the end of the shaft along the shaft and then it lubricates the um, sprocket okay uh, so now that's the last throw of the dice really so what I'm going to do next is when I get 
the original camshaft back because I now think that there's nothing at all wrong with the original camshaft. So I should be getting that back tomorrow because I took it to the machine shop for them to check the uh, trueness of it. Um, and when I get it back, then I'll put the cases back together. And then we've got a new shaft, we've got a new sprocket, we've got a new chain, we've got a new idle sprocket. And if the combination of those things don't sort this uneven tension out, on the uh, on the cam chain, then then I I'm stumped because the, the, the it's only a short chain run, but the tension varies massively. It goes from like bow tight to like very slack, and I'm just not happy with that. But if changing the shaft and and everything else that we've tried doesn't doesn't I've changed I've changed the cam shaft, we've changed the chain, we've changed that sprocket, we've changed that sprocket. We've changed now. The final thing is we've replaced the um, intermediate uh, shaft. And if it still runs uneven, then oh, crikey, I, you know, I, I'm going to be scratching my head. So I'm hoping that <laughs> having changed, this is the last thing I've tried and that that will work.